Greetings and welcome back to Ultimate Mega Builds. Today we look at some of the biggest mega projects in the US as of 2024. Let's start with the Rally to Richmond Rail program. Rally is getting ready for a train line that'll connect it to Virginia and DC. The workers already started on the rally side of things. They've got some money from the US Department of Transportation to help fix up old tracks and lay new ones all the way to Wake Forest, North Carolina. With $1.1 billion in funding, they're planning to build 11 new bridges over roads and close a bunch of train crossings to make things safer and smoother. They think it'll take about 5 to 10 years to finish the whole 162-mile track. Number 2. The Regional Hydrogen Hub Projects At the 2023 Hydrogen Americas Summit, four significant hydrogen production project announcements were made, spanning major regions across the United States. Each project is supported by federal funding from the U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE. The Midwest Alliance for Clean Hydrogen will operate in Illinois, Indiana and Michigan, managed by the Heartland Hydrogen Hub. The high-velocity hydrogen hub in Texas is led by High Velocity H2 Hub. In the Appalachian region, covering Pennsylvania, Ohio and West Virginia, the Appalachian Regional Clean Energy Hydrogen Hub takes charge. Lastly, the California Hydrogen Hub will function in California under the guidance of the Alliance for Renewable Clean Hydrogen Energy Systems. The project has a strong financial backing. The Appalachian Hub is set to receive up to $925 million, the Midwest Hub up to $1 billion, and both the Texas and California Hubs will get $1.2 billion each. These projects are part of a wider effort under the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, or IIJA, which has allocated approximately $7 billion for hydrogen production facilities throughout the US. The specific start and end dates for construction have not yet been provided. Number 3. Upper Ohio River Navigation Project The Upper Ohio River Navigation Project is upgrading the Montgomery Lock and Dam near Monaca, Pennsylvania. This project is led and funded by the US Army Corps of Engineers, or USACE, under the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, or IIJA. The main aim is to fix and build new facilities at the Montgomery Lock and Dam, located in Allegheny and Beaver counties close to Pittsburgh. The project addresses critical issues due to the structure's deteriorating condition and its insufficient lock capacity. Initial planning and preparation contracts kicked off in 2020, with more contracts awarded in 2023. The total cost for renovating this lock and dam, along with two others in the region, is estimated at $2.1 billion, with the Montgomery portion alone nearing $1 billion. While there's no exact finish date for the Montgomery lock and dam, the overall work on all three systems is expected to stretch until 2050. Number 4. The Brent Spence Bridge Project Built in 1963, the Brent Spence Bridge stretches over the wide Ohio River. It creates an important link between Ohio and Kentucky. It cost about $10 million at the time, equivalent to around $71 million today. The bridge has a two-level design, with the upper deck leading to Kentucky and the lower one to Ohio. The bridge was initially designed to accommodate 100,000 vehicles a day, but as the local population and traffic volumes have increased, it is now handling more than double its planned capacity. This surge has led to significant safety concerns, highlighted in 2011 when a section of the bridge crumbled, dropping concrete onto a vehicle below. Despite this incident, local authorities insist the bridge is safe, attributing the mishap to factors other than the increase in traffic. Regular inspections are said to maintain its structural integrity. However, the severe traffic jams and ongoing congestion remain major issues. To address these challenges, the government has greenlit a $1.6 billion project to construct a new bridge. This yet-to-be-named bridge will divert interstate traffic from I-71 and I-75, allowing the Brent Spence to cater only to local traffic. This change is expected to significantly reduce congestion and the risk of gridlock, making travel smoother for everyone. Number 5. Brightline West High Speed Rail System the Brightline West high-speed rail is a big deal because it's going to be America's first real high-speed train, connecting California and Nevada. 
It's going to run from Rancho Cucamonga near Los Angeles all the way to Las Vegas. Brightline West and the Nevada Department of Transportation are heading up this game-changing project. They've lined up $3 billion from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act and other federal support. Plus, they've got another $3.5 billion through bonds from the U.S. Department of Transportation. These funds are allocated for the final design, securing the necessary land and constructing 218 miles or 350 kilometers of track. Brightline West is targeting the launch of its first service by 2028. Number 6. The Gordie Howe International Bridge The Gordie Howe International Bridge is set to become the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America. Spanning 2.5 kilometers, this monumental structure will connect Canada to the US and feature six traffic lanes. It dwarfs earlier projects in both scale and cost, nearly tripling the budget of the Brent Spence Bridge and more than doubling that of the MSG Sphere. One distinctive expense in its massive $4.5 billion budget involved relocating several hundred Butler's Garter Snakes, a species native to the area affected by construction. Due to Canada's stringent environmental laws, these snakes had to be carefully moved to a new habitat before construction could proceed. Expected to open in the latter half of 2024, the bridge is named in honor of the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe, renowned for his extensive career with the Detroit Red Wings. This bridge aims not only to enhance connectivity, but also to stand as a tribute to a sports icon. Number 7 the Hudson Tunnel Project. This huge rail project is a dual effort involving the construction of a new Hudson River Tunnel and the renovation of the century-old North River Tunnels. The total cost of the project is expected to exceed $16 billion, with $12 billion of that already secured through federal funding. The funding arrangement has the federal government covering 70% of the costs and local contributions handling the remaining 30%. Currently, the project is in a critical phase that focuses on the final design and construction of the new tunnel. This phase includes installing new tracks, signals, traction power, ventilation systems and comprehensive fire and safety systems. A significant $3.8 billion for the system installation and other setup tasks has been funded by the Federal State Partnership for Intercity Passenger Rail Grant Program, thanks to the US Department of Transport. The Gateway Development Commission is managing the oversight of the project, which is expected to be completed by around 2035. Number 8. The Texas Seawall Also known as the Ike Dyke, this huge barrier is designed to protect southeast Texas's Galveston Bay, a region very vulnerable to powerful storms from the Gulf of Mexico. This idea comes from the Great Galveston Hurricane in 1900, the deadliest natural disaster in US history, which killed 8,000 people. After this event, the original Galveston Seawall was built in 1902 and has been defending the area for more than a century. However, the Seawall's biggest test came in 2008 with Hurricane Ike, when waves crashed over the wall, causing over 100 deaths and $38 billion in damages. This catastrophe led the Army Corps of Engineers to create a plan in 2018 for a stronger sea wall. The new design includes two massive surge gates, each 656 feet wide. These gates would stay open under normal conditions to allow natural water flow, but could be closed to block massive waves during hurricanes. The cost for this new sea wall is estimated at about $31 billion. Number 9 the Hudson Yards Project Hudson Yards is a massive urban development project located in Manhattan, New York. It started with the construction of a large platform built over a train storage yard. This platform now supports a completely transformed area, featuring parks, upscale shops and restaurants, office spaces, apartments, galleries, hotels, and even New York's highest ice rink. Although much of Hudson Yards is already open to the public, the project is far from complete. The upcoming second phase will introduce new hotels, high-rises, office buildings and schools, further transforming New York City's skyline. One of the standout features of the completed sections is the Edge, the highest sky deck in the Western Hemisphere. 
It boasts a glass floor located an exhilarating 100 floors above the ground, making it the tallest glass floor in the world and a magnet for thrill-seekers globally. Number 10. Sound Transit 3 Sound Transit 3 is a huge transportation project in Seattle. It costs a whopping $53 billion, which is almost twice as much as the Texas seawall. It's aimed at fixing the terrible traffic jams that Seattle has been dealing with for years. From 2010 to 2015, traffic in the area got 95% worse, mostly because more and more people moved there. In 2022 alone, the region welcomed 50,000 new residents, and it is expected to grow by another 800,000 people over the next 20 years. More people means more cars and bigger traffic headaches. In fact, last year, the average person in Seattle lost over 50 hours just sitting in traffic. Sound Transit 3 wants to extend the rail network by 62 miles and plans to serve up to 600,000 riders daily. The project will also boost rapid bus services and add lots of new stops and stations. It will start in 2024 and keep building until 2041, gradually easing the traffic mess as the population keeps growing. Number 11. The Penn Station Access This project is a significant endeavor aimed at rehabilitating 19 miles or 31 kilometers of the Amtrak-owned Hell Gate Line, which connects Penn Station in New York City to New Rochelle, New York. The New York State Metropolitan Transportation Authority MTA, has secured over $1 billion from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal State Partnership for Intercity Passenger Rail Grant Program for the Northeast Corridor to finance this project. The total investment exceeds $3 billion. This comprehensive upgrade includes modernizing the signal systems and rehabilitating four bridges. The project also involves constructing four new interlockings, five new power substations, upgrading two existing substations, and overall track rehabilitation. This plan was initially unveiled in March 2024 as part of a larger investment strategy by Amtrak. Construction of the four new stations is set to begin this year, with the entire project expected to be completed by 2027. Number 12. Project Connect Texas this ambitious initiative is set to majorly improve public transportation in Austin, Texas, with a budget that's more than double that of Amazon HQ2. The plan involves building two new light rail lines, adding three bus lines, and constructing a transit tunnel under downtown Austin. New park and ride services will also be introduced, along with a significant upgrade of the existing transport infrastructure in the city. A key objective of Project Connect is to support environmental sustainability by transitioning to a zero-emission fleet. All buses and trains in this project will run entirely on electricity, which will greatly reduce Austin's carbon footprint. It's important to mention that this current plan is a scaled-down version of the original 2020 proposal, which was even more extensive but had to be revised due to financial limitations brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's all we have for you today at Ultimate Mega Builds. Which of these projects fascinates you the most? Let us know in the comments below. We'll be back soon with another exciting Mega Builds video.